good morning students in this class we will discuss 3d planes already i made a video on 3d drs and dcs its continuation is planes so three dimensional geometry <clears throat> in that first coordinate system introduction then drs and dcs <clears throat> after that planes then we have one more uh, 3d lines these are very very important in je mains also very significant weightage for this and vector algebra one should study 3d geometry and vector algebra simultaneously both are same just a system is different that is vector system and this is cartesian system so today we will see what is a plane plane properties etc so today's topic is plane the plane what is a plane very simple i will tell the definition if if capital s is a surface if capital s like this for example if capital s is a surface it can be any surface if s is a surface then for any two points i said any for any two points on the surface if you join these two if all the points on the line segment pq lies on s lies on the surface once again s is a surface and p comma q be any two points on it if every point on the line segment pq belongs to s that is lies on s then this surface is called a plane otherwise it is only a surface in other words what is a plane simply plane is a flat surface for example if you take this board it is also a surface on this surface you take any two points any two points if you join them you will get a line segment clearly where is this line segment it is on the board itself therefore every point on this line segment will definitely lie on the board lie on the surface therefore this surface is called a plane yes this is the definition of plane next uh, we will see the different different formula and uh, yes now we will see different different formula in this we will discuss them points wise number 1 the equation of a plane listen carefully the equation of a plane in general form in general form is the equation of a plane in general form is ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 what is this the equation of a plane in general form so equation of a plane will be a first degree equation in x y z this is the general form of a plane where a comma b comma c they are not all zeros yes this is the equation of a plane in general form general form of a plane is ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0 so its figure will be like this for example rough figure what is this this is a plane plane equation will be always in this form general form is this very very important thing here x y z coefficients a b c what a b c 
they are constant numbers they are coefficients of x y z always x y z coefficients this point is important always x y z coefficient what are x y z coefficients they are drs of its normal drs of normal which numbers x y z coefficients here x y z coefficients are always drs of normal so for a, what is a normal very simple a line perpendicular to plane can be taken as a normal so the anywhere you can take any perpendicular line will be a normal so a b c in the equation x y z coefficients they always denote the drs of normal of the plane so many properties of plane depend on these normals or drs only so plane properties depend on normal therefore this concept is important every plane will have a line at least one line of course there will be many lines perpendicular line is what normal so drs of normal or x y z coefficients so this is the equation of the plane and i will state one more important point listen what is this equation this equation of a plane is a first degree equation what is this this is a first degree equation in x comma y comma z because it is 3d no because it is 3d the equation of a plane is a first degree equation in x y z we have already seen a first degree equation in 2d so what is first degree equation in 2d first degree equation in only x and y that will be that is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 what is this this is first degree equation in 2d so equation of plane is first degree equation in 3d line in 2d equation of line in 2d is also first degree equation because it is 2d there will be only two what is this this equation represents a straight line since plane's equation in 3d line's equation in 2d both are first degree equations this is first degree equation in 2d and this is first degree equation in 3d therefore many properties of this plane are similar to the properties of straight line of 2d for example if you take foot of perpendicular in 2d two dimensional geometry straight lines we have seen complete information about that uh, straight line so if you want to find foot of perpendicular here foot of perpendicular from a point x1 y1 z1 to a plane you think of this you remember this concept foot of perpendicular in 2d this will be there in only two dimensional only x y will be there so you take same concept and extend to one more term z term you will get the results of this therefore straight line is 2d equation which is first degree in 2d plane is first degree equation in 3d therefore many properties of plane are similar to those of straight line of 2d next we will see another point number two listen nana carefully yes this is a plane say this is a plane which is passing through a point x1 y1 z1 and uh, drs of whose normal normal is a line perpendicular to this drs of this line are a comma b comma c 
what is this this is a plane which is passing through this point x1 y1 z1 and the normal of this line has drs abc in this case the equation of the line is a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 is equal to 0 this is the equation of the plane this should be applied when a point on the plane is given and drs of normal are given this is most useful formula in planes we will be using this many occasions so what is this this is 3d geometry which is similar to vector algebra we should study both simultaneously listen so in vector algebra what is this this is a point to know i will denote the point by a bar what is this this is a normal normal means line perpendicular to plane i will denote this by a vector m bar drs in coordinate geometry are similar to or equal to vector dcs are equal to unit vector so in vector algebra the equation vector equation of the same plane passing through the point a bar and perpendicular to b bar this will be r bar minus a bar dot m bar r bar minus a bar dot m bar equal to 0 so these are the equations of plane in vector algebra and cartesian system this is cartesian equation and this is vector equation once you will check it please see so what is r bar in co coordinate geometry in cartesian system the x y term x y and z they will be variables in vector algebra all the vectors will be in r bar you can take r bar as a variable vector listen so whenever you need to transform the equations of one system to another system for example you take this what is this this is equation of this plane which is passing through this point what does it mean a bar is a point if i express this in vectors this will be x1 i plus y1 j plus z1 k and what is this m bar is a vector a bar is a point and m bar is a vector denoted by represented by this normal normal drs drs are nothing but vector b i a i b j c k i will put these values in this vector equation so what is r bar r bar is a variable vector which is always x i plus y j plus z k then what we have minus a bar what is a bar x1 i plus y1 j plus z1 k dot m bar m bar is a i plus b j plus c k is equal to zero so let us simplify here i will take i common if i take i common x minus x1 into i similarly i can write y minus y1 into j z minus z1 into k this is first one dot is there and what we have a i plus b j plus c k is equal to zero now this is a vector in terms of i j k this is also a vector in terms of i j k apply dot products definition when vectors are in i j k form 
what is the dot product a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 that is product of coefficients of i that is a into x minus x1 and product of j coefficients b into y minus y1 and similarly c into z minus z1 is equal to 0 what is this this is equation of the plane obtained in xyz terms that is Cartesian equation which is same as this okay therefore when you study three dimensional geometry or vector algebra both the chapters should be studied simultaneously so this is a formula if a plane is given if it is passing through a point and perpendicular to a line this perpendicular line he is called normal and its uh, Cartesian equation is this geometrical equation for the same plane this is vector equation so how to transform one to another when if you want to transform vector equation to Cartesian very simple you put r bar is equal to variable vector xi plus yj plus zk and also substitute remaining values just eliminate unit vectors i j k then you will be getting the cartesian equation similarly if this is given then you can also transform it into this so this is the conversion of vectors to cartesian cartesian to vectors we will study almost all the concepts in both Next we will see another point, number 3, listen Nana, here this is a plane, yes, this is a plane and uh, perpendicular distance from origin to the plane, yes, this perpendicular distance is what P? P is perpendicular distance from origin to the plane. Since I said this is a perpendicular line, this is known as normal. So here the DCs of normal, not DRs, DCs of normal. Normal DCs are L comma M comma N. So this is another form which is known as normal form of a plane. In this form, this is the plane. Distance from origin to the plane is P. This line is a line perpendicular to plane which is known as normal. All properties of plane depend on normal. So this line is normal whose DCs are given. When this distance and DCs of plane a uh, normal are given then the equation of the plane is lx plus my plus nz is equal to p this form of line this form of equation is called symmetric form of plane what is this symmetric form here lmn are what dc's of normal in the beginning what i said in the general form of a plane, always x, y, z coefficients are d or i z. Here I am telling dc's. What are dc's? Basically, they are dr's only, special dr's. So, for the equation, for this plane, what will be the vector equation we will see? This is what distance. In any system, distance remains the same. What is this? LMN or direction cosines of this normal. Direction cosines means that is a unit vector in vector algebra. I will suppose this vector, this unit vector is n cap. Then we have a equation, vector equation of this plane. The vector equation of the plane which is at a distance of P from origin along the unit vector n cap then equation of vector equation of this plane is r bar dot n cap is equal to p so they are all very very important now 
What is the vector equation of the plane? This is the vector equation of the plane. So both are same. This is Cartesian equation for this. This is vector equation for this. Point. This is what distance. Distance in any system. Distance is distance only. So this is another formula which is known as symmetric form. Symmetric form of plane. When you should apply this? When distance from origin to the plane is given and DC is of normal or given, you should apply this. Again, if this is given, you can transform into this. If this is given, you can transform into this. Yes, we will see another point, another concept number four. Listen now. Here a plane is given. This is the plane, rough figure. So here this plane is passing through three points. Which points? X1, Y1, Z1. X2, Y2, Z2. And one more point. X3, Y3, Z3. Yes. Here another, this is another form of plane. When plane is passing through three points, the equation of the plane, Cartesian equation is x minus x1, y minus y1, z minus z1. Second row, x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1. And x3 minus x1, y3, y3, y3 minus y1. I will write what is the third one x3 minus x1 y3 minus y1 z3 minus z1 this is matrix determinant of order 3 by 3 equal to 0 when a plane is passing through three points its Cartesian equation is x minus x1, y minus y1, z minus z1, where x, y, z are variables. And what about this? x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1, x3 minus x1, y3 minus y1, z3 minus z1. This is the equation of the plane. Yes. It's a Cartesian, this is what Cartesian equation. What is vector equation of plane of this type? So here plane is passing through three points. I will suppose this is A bar. This point is B bar and this point is C bar. The vector equation of a plane passing through three points. Points means position vectors passing through three points then what is the vector equation of the plane the vector equation of the plane is r bar minus a bar b bar minus a bar c bar minus a bar is equal to zero this is vector equation of the plane vector equation of the plane passing through three points you can simplify this. If you simplify, you can transform this as R bar, B bar, A bar. What is this? This is box. Is equal to box of A bar, B bar, C bar. Both are same. I just I expanded this. In this equation, what is this bracket? It is a scalar triple product. We have seen in vector algebra. This is called a box. Box of these three vectors. This can be simplified as this. Therefore, the vector equation of plane passing through three points is this. Yes, this is vector equation. This or this, both are same. Vector equation of plane passing through three points. Its Cartesian form is this. This is Cartesian equation and this is vector equation. How I wrote this? Very simple. So since this is a plane, plane is what? 
plane is also a locus there will be many points on the plane so every curve in geometry is a locus so what i do i will take a point on the locus x y z now very simple if i join this and this i will get a line segment or a vector another vector another vector here these three are what cool coplanar these three vectors are coplanar if vectors are coplanar their determinant should be zero seen in vector algebra so these are the three vectors no they are coplanar therefore i have written that equal to zero that equal to zero means this is what vectors these are three vectors vectors are nothing but drs so how to take the direction cosines x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 etc three given points are there and we have taken another point there are four so i formed three vectors using four points all the three vectors of course all the four points are on the plane therefore the vectors formed by them also coplanar i used coplanarity property because it is a locus problem i need some condition what is the condition the vectors are you take any vectors this also coplanar you can form different different vectors all the four points are on the plane therefore vectors formed by those four points will be coplanar among those i have taken three vectors coplanarity condition is applied yeah. then next point number 5 so we are discussing planes chapter listen now so this is three dimensional geometry therefore there will be three axes this is positive x axis say positive y axis and positive z axis this is origin this is a 3d figure 3d figures are cannot be drawn cannot be drawn exact figures on the board because this board is a two dimensional you imagine that it is a room in the room what is this this is floor this is one wall this is another wall what is this this is 3d plane i am imagining that this is this as floor this is one wall this is another wall so these are the three positive axes this wall this wall is generated decided by x axis and y axis therefore this is called xy plane what is this xy plane plane formed by xy axis similarly this is yz plane plane formed by yz axis similarly this floor is formed by x axis and z axis therefore this is called zx plane xy plane yz plane zx plane so these are standard planes no see number 1 the equation of xy plane is what is the equation of xy plane xy plane it is also a flat surface it is a plane what is its equation there will be many points infinite points on this it is also a locus it is also a plane so what is this this is xy plane if you take any point on this those will have x coordinates and y coordinates no z coordinates so for all the points on this plane their z coordinates are zeros that is the condition for the points on this one so what is a plane in geometry every curve is a locus locus means set of points satisfying a condition all the points on this plane their z coordinates are zeros that is the condition condition itself is equation therefore what is this the equation of xy plane is z is equal to 0 yes 
This is equation of xy plane. Similarly, number 2. The equation of yz plane. What is this? The equation. The equation of number 1. xy plane is z equal to 0. yz plane. It will uh, contain many points. They have only yz coordinates, no x coordinate. Therefore, all the points on yz will have x coordinate 0. That is the condition, that is the equation. Similarly, next number 3, the equation of zx plane. What is the equation of zx plane? They will be containing only x and z, no y terms. Therefore, y is equal to 0. Therefore, these are the three standard planes, xy plane, yz plane, zx plane. Their equations are respectively z equal to 0, x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. Next, we will see another concept. What is the concept? Listen. The equation of the plane, listen carefully. The equation of the plane passing through a point, passing through a point x1, y1, z1 and number 1. Parallel to xy plane. Parallel to xy plane. Parallel to xy plane is. So this uh, this is xy plane whose equation was y equal z equal to zero. Now the plane is parallel to this. For example, we will take this and discuss. This is floor no. This is floor, zx plane, whose equation is y equal to 0. Now this is flown, there is, you take a plane parallel to this. If it is, floor is like this, you will get a line like this. This will be a plane parallel to this one. See, you imagine 3D figure, this is a plane parallel to this. Okay? This will, this x, zx plane's equation is y equal to 0. That means all the points in this plane will have z co y coordinate 0. But this plane is parallel to this. But their z coordinates are not zeros now. They are equal to this distance which is y1. If it is passing through the point x1, y1, z1, then this distance will be y1. For all the points on this plane, they have same y coordinate. Likewise, so if the equation of zx plane is y equal to 0, its parallel plane will have what? y coordinates equal, they are equal to y1. That is y equal to y1. Similarly, if the, the equation of plane passing through this and parallel to xy plane, xy plane equation is z equal to 0. Here it is passing through this point, no? Therefore, its equation will be z equal to z1. Next, number 2. The equation of the plane passing through the point xy, x1, y1, z1 and the parallel to yz plane is yz plane equation is x equal to x1 now it is parallel to yz plane passing through some other point therefore its equation will be x equal to x1 and also one more the equation of the plane passing through the point x1 y1 z1 and parallel to yz plane is what is that plane now? y is equal to 0 was yz zx plane. Now parallel no y equal to y1. So these are the equations of planes and their parallel planes. 
x y z x y plane this one equation is z equal to zero y z plane x equal to zero z x plane y equal to zero if the planes are parallel to those three and passing through a point x one y one z one plane parallel to x y will have z equal to z one y z plane x equal to x one and z x plane y equal to y one so these can be taken simply as z equal to k x equal to k y equal to k x one y one z one means they are coordinates of the point they are numbers no yes so this is about equations of standard planes and their parallel plane next number next point number six intercept form of a plane what is this intercept form yes we have seen intercept form in straight line study same concept extended to one more variable yes what was intercept form of a line If a line meets x-axis at a comma zero, y-axis at zero comma b, then AB are called x-y intercepts. Intercept form of a line is x by a plus y by b equal to one. Same concept. If a line, see now now. If a plane, sorry. If a plane meets x-axis. x axis at capital a a comma 0 comma 0 y axis y axis at capital b 0 comma b comma 0 and z axis at capital c 0 0 c If a plane cuts or meets x-axis at this point, y-axis at this point, and z-axis at this point, then small a is called x-intercept. This is what x-intercept, and this small b is called y-intercept. b is y intercept and small c is called z intercept z intercept yes these are x y z intercepts of a plane so when intercepts are known the equation of a plane <coughs> the equation of a plane in intercept form intercept form is what is the plane in intercept form same as in straight lines x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equal to 1 this form is known as intercept form of a plane what is this intercept form of a plane A is x intercept, B is y intercept, and C is z intercept. Okay. Next, generally plane will be given in general form. No, what is the general form of a plane? A x plus B y plus C z plus D equal to zero. When plane is given in general form, for this plane, its x intercept will be. For this x-intercept, x-intercept of this plane is what minus d by a, and its y-intercept, its y-intercept is minus d by b, its z-intercept is minus d by c. Very simple. How I wrote this? I have transformed this into this by transforming general form into intercept form. You will get x, y, z intercepts which are minus d by a, minus d by b, minus d by c. Yes. On this intercept form, we will discuss one more point number seven. See now now. If a plane is given in intercept form. 
this is 3 d is coordinate axis x axis y axis and z axis of course this is origin a plane is given in the intercept form what is intercept form x by a plus y by b plus z by c equal to 1 when plane is given in that intercept form the plane cuts the x axis at a comma 0 comma 0 it cuts y axis at 0 comma b comma 0 and it cuts z axis at 0 0 c where a is called a means this distance what is this this is a which is known as x intercept this is b y intercept this is z intercept now the plane it will be forming from some triangles for example you see plane is cutting x axis here y axis here and z axis here so it will be forming some triangles this plane this plane is forming a triangle with x y axis y z axis z x axis so we will see those listen now the area of the triangle the area of the triangle formed by formed by the plane formed by the plane x by a plus y by b plus z by c equal to 1 number 1 with x comma y axis is so area of the triangle formed by this plane with x comma y axis this area is half mod ab next number 2 the area of the triangle formed by same plane with yz axis is it is half mod bc and number 3 area of the triangle formed by the same plane with zx axis is half mod ca so these are the areas of triangles formed by the plane with xy axis yz axis and zx axis if you see the figure this line will cut, will cut x axis y axis also z axis we will add one more so in the figure I will take the area of triangle ABC. What is area of triangle ABC? What is triangle ABC? ABC is a triangle obtained by three points where the plane is cutting the axis. So that area is, what is it? Half into root over AB whole square plus bc whole square plus ca whole square that's all where a b c are x y z intercepts so we have taken these four triangles area of triangle formed by plane with x y axis y z axis z x axis what is this area of the triangle formed by the plane with the three axes? That means in the figure area of triangle ABC. Yes. Next concept is angle between two planes. Number 8. See now. No. Angle between two planes. angle between two planes see what is the definition of angle between two planes see these are two planes say these are two planes angle between these two planes 
angle between two curves we have seen in tangents and normals first uh, calculus applications of differentiation also seen in system of circles angle between two circles angle between two curves so if these are two planes then angle between the two planes is defined as angle between their normals what is this this is a line perpendicular to first plane and another one this is what normal to second plane angle between their normals only defined as angle between the planes very simple what is angle between two planes angle between two planes is angle between their normals yes for example if two planes are given see now, now. i am taking two planes a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 is equal to 0 is a plane and a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 are two planes two planes and theta is theta is the angle between them angle between them yes then we have a formula to find angle theta what is angle between planes angle between their normals so when equations are given i said x y z coefficients will be representing drs of normal therefore for the first plane this is dr normal no whose drs are a1 b1 c1 for second planes this is its normal whose drs are a2 b2 c2 yes now what becomes angle between two lines only normals means they are lines only angle between two lines we have seen in drs and dcs when we have drs of two lines angle between them is what a1 a2 plus b1 b2 c1 c2 all divided by root over a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into root over a2 square plus b2 square c2 square so using this we calculate angle between two planes what is angle between two planes by the definition angle between two planes is angle between their normals only that angle can be found using this okay we will see some of the properties here for example if angle between two planes is 90 degrees then what does it mean the planes will be perpendicular to each other in this case we say the planes are orthogonal planes see if theta is equal to 90 degrees if theta equal to 90 if you put put 90 in this the two planes angle between two planes is 90 degrees that means angle between their normals also 90 because angle between normals only angle between planes then what will be the condition if i put 90 here cos 90 0 by cross multiplication this becomes 0 so we will have a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 equal to 0 this is the condition for two planes to be perpendicular yes similarly if angle between the planes is 0 degrees what does it mean angle between two planes is 0 means the two planes are parallel if two planes are parallel like this if two planes are parallel like this then their normals will be 
parallel only both normals will be parallel only when two lines are parallel what is the condition a1 by a2 they are proportional b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 so this is the condition for two planes to be parallel two planes parallel means their normals also parallel we will see another concept number 9 see now if a plane is given for example this is a plane okay there is another plane parallel to this another plane parallel to this now what is normal of a plane any line perpendicular to this is a normal since the two planes are parallel their normals also parallel their normals also parallel that means the two lines are parallel implies what about their dc drs they should be proportionate to each other so one one thing if this line is perpendicular to this the same line will be perpendicular to second plane also because planes are parallel therefore we will develop one more formula we will remember we will recall in a straight line in straight lines chapter we have seen if a line is given ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 any line parallel to this can be taken as ax plus by plus k equal to 0 because lines are parallel means their slopes are equal slope of a line is minus a by b that means slope depends on x y terms if the lines are parallel slopes should be same slopes slope depends on x y terms no therefore this part should be same only they differ by constant so similarly here the planes are parallel no therefore listen the equation of any plane parallel to the equation of any plane parallel to ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 can be taken as so parallel plane can be taken as ax plus by plus cz plus some constant k equal to 0 as that because two planes are parallel they should have same drs so this is any line any plane parallel to this next number 10 see now if a plane is given this is a plane whose equation is ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0 there is a point here x1 y1 z1 i need to calculate this perpendicular distance perpendicular distance from x1 y1 z1 to this point this also we have seen in straight lines what is the distance the perpendicular distance from x1 y1 to this plane it is mod of a x1 plus b y1 plus c z1 plus d whole divided by root over a square plus b square plus c square very simple this is perpendicular distance from a point to a plane next we will see another number 10 if the point is 0 0 sometimes you we need to calculate distance from origin to a point plane when the point is 0 0 what the distance becomes so i am writing here the distance from origin the distance from origin to the plane ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 is 
if the point is zero then the distance becomes x1 y1 z1 zero so we will have only constant mod d divided by root over a square plus b square plus c square this is point number 11 next we will see another point point number 12 if two parallel planes are there you can find the distance the distance between the distance between the parallel planes the distance between the parallel planes what are the parallel planes ax plus by plus cz plus some constant d1 equal to 0 ax plus by plus cz plus d2 equal to 0 these are clearly parallel planes planes are parallel implies their normals are parallels if normals are parallels they should have same uh, drs so what are x y z coefficients in equation of a plane they represent drs of normal for a line how many drs can be there infinite number of drs but all those will be proportionate to each other so when you are applying this distance between two parallel planes this part should be same are you following this should be same if it is not exactly same if it is proportionate then also they are parallel but when you are applying this this part should be same x y z so in this case the distance between the parallel lines is mod d1 minus d2 divided by root over a square plus b square plus c square so in the formula what is there in the denominator root over a square plus b square plus c square for that reason only this part should be same if they are not equal they are proportionate to each other then also they represent parallel planes only but we cannot apply this if you take different proportional numbers in first one and second one we have to write a square here which value you take for that reason only when you are applying distance between parallel lines x y z part should be same constant should be different if constant is also same then it becomes only one plane constants are different yes we will see another concept number 13 see now a plane is there say this is a plane and there are two points say capital A x1 y1 z1 say capital B x2 y2 z2 these are two points and this plane's equation is ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to zero yes now see the concept so a and b are two points no a and b are two points so the plane is cutting you imagine that this is a paper and a b is a pin is it is like this so this when the plane is dividing the line segment it will divide in some ratio how to calculate that ratio for that i am giving direct formula so listen carefully the ratio the ratio in which the ratio in which the line segment the line segment joining ab is divided is divided by the plane by the plane pi i will denote this plane by pi the ratio in which 
the line segment ab is divided by this plane is for the ratio what is formula it is minus of pi 11 divided by pi 222 this is ratio to calculate to find the ratio we should use this what does it mean what this notation says simple minus of pi 111 means right substitute first point in the plane ax1 by1 cz1 plus d divided by substitute second point in this 2 2 2 means by2 cz2 plus d that's all this is the formula to find the ratio in which the line segment is divided by the plane okay when you find this distance there is a note here when you find this distance uh, this ratio this ratio may sometimes positive sometimes negative we will see number 1 if the ratio is positive if the ratio is positive what it implies when you are finding this ratio in which ab line segment is divided by this plane if you get ratio positive that means that the division is internal that means plane is dividing internally in that case the two points will lie on either side of the plane opposite sides of the plane yes if the ratio if the ratio is positive this implies the points will lie the points will lie on either side of the plane either side of the plane if you get the above ratio negative if the ratio is negative what this implies when the ratio is negative means whenever ratio is negative the division is external that means ab line segment here this plane is dividing externally in that case the two points will lie on same side of the plane so this implies the two points the points lie on the same side of the plane same side of the plane same side of the plane this is about finding ratio divided by a line segment by a plane this is ratio if the ratio comes positive division is internal points will lie on either side of the plane if the above ratio is negative that means the division is external plane divides the line segment externally both points will lie on same side of the plane yes we will see another next concept number 14 say nana a plane is there this is a plane whose equation is ax by cz d equal to 0 say this is a plane there is a point here say x1 y1 z1 x1 y1 is a point if you draw a perpendicular from this point to to this plane say it is reaching here this is floor you suppose there is a point we have drawn a perpendicular what about this this point is called foot of the perpendicular this is foot of the perpendicular if you extend this if you extend this 
at same distance you will find one more point here which is known as image image of this point this is what foot of perpendicular of this point this is image of this point image or reflection so when the point is x1 y1 plane is this so i will denote the foot of perpendicular by a image by b the given point by p so firstly i will see the formula to find foot of perpendicular so in straight lines two dimensional we have seen how to what is foot of perpendicular how to find it general procedure is there you can also use a relation here i am discussing i am writing that relation so for first one to find the foot of perpendicular a foot of the perpendicular capital a you suppose h a foot of perpendicular is equal to h comma k comma l let let foot of perpendicular capital a b h comma k comma l this h comma k comma l can be find using this relation which relation h minus x1 by a is equal to k minus y1 by b this is 3d no we will have one more l minus z1 by c is equal to minus of ax ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d that means writing the point in this divided by a square plus b square plus c square using this relation foot of the perpendicular can be find directly this one foot of the perpendicular if you want to find image so let image in the figure it is capital b you know let image be h comma k comma l then this image can be find using this relation h minus x1 by a equal to k minus y1 by b equal to l minus z1 by c is equal to same i take i wrote three terms here when it is image minus 2 comes minus 2 into ax1 by1 plus cz1 plus d divided by a square plus b square plus c square so this is a relation for image if you want to find image you should use this using this you should separate h value k value and l value yes this is about foot of perpendicular and image next we will see another number 15 yes two planes are there for example first plane a1x b1y c1z plus d1 equal to 0 this is one plane and a2x b2y c2z plus d2 equal to 0 these are the two planes i shall denote the first plane by pi1 and i denote second plane by pi2 so here what is the concept listen so this is first plane you suppose this is a second plane like this now see the figure the two planes have something common generally in straight lines two lines will intersect in a point whereas two planes will intersect in a line two planes will intersect in a line therefore common portion of two planes is a line so this is first plane pi1 
This is second plane pi 2. This is their line of intersection. If you suppose it is a textbook, this is one page, this is another page. In between with same line of connection, there can be many pages. For all those pages, this line will be common thing. Such lines or such planes are called planes passing through line of intersection of this and this. Planes passing through line of intersection of this plane and this plane. There can be many planes, such many such planes. So equations of all those planes is very simple. Pi 1 plus lambda pi 2 is equal to 0. That means first plane a1x, b1y, c1z plus d1 plus some parameter lambda into second plane a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 equal to 0. So this is the plane equation of any plane passing through line of intersection of two planes. What, what, what this equation represents? This is lambda which where lambda is a parameter for all values of lambda, for different values of lambda, this equation, both are same. This equation represents equations of planes Passing through line of intersection of these two planes. This is the line of intersection. I said this is a page. This is another page of a textbook. So they are connected by this line. So in between these two there can be many pages. You imagine all those pages will be having this portion common. They will be attached here only. Such pages, pages nothing but planes. What are those planes? They are planes passing through line of intersection of these two. Equations of all those planes can be obtained by this equation where lambda is a parameter. For different values of lambda, this equation gives us different different planes including these two if you put alpha lambda equal to zero you will get first plane etc yes these are some important concepts of planes so in the next video we will discuss about 3d lines okay thank you